Welcome to your second lab. This is the density and thickness of aluminum foil lab. Well, in this lab, you're gonna be figuring out the thickness of a piece of aluminum foil. See, here's the deal. Aluminum foil, really, really thin. And if you try to directly measure it with a ruler, you can't. So you're gonna to have to come around with a workaround based on what you did yesterday when you did the measurement lab. So, let's see. What do we need to do? There's some basic information here. It says volume equals length times width times thickness. So if we want to find out the volume of a piece of aluminum foil, we would just measure its length, its width, and its thickness. But you see, we don't know the thickness. So we're going to need to figure that out. Thickness is going to be our unknown in our great math problem here. And then, of course, we have the formula for density. Density equals mass over volume. Well, you already know what the density of aluminum is because you figured it out yesterday in the lab. Perfect. So what I need you to do is the pre-lab questions. How does the density of aluminum foil differ from the density of an aluminum block, the one that you recorded yesterday? Given the equations, density equals mass over volume and volume equals length over times width times height, where height is the thickness of the aluminum foil, and given the density you calculate in the first half of the lab, which was the last time you did the lab, what measurements will you have to make to determine the thickness of the aluminum foil? So basically, you know the density of aluminum, you're trying to find the thickness of aluminum, what measurements will you have to make in order to figure out the rest? Now, here's one clue. You will not be allowed to bend, fold, crumple this piece of aluminum foil, which means getting volume via water displacement is strictly forbidden. You cannot do water displacement on this for two reasons. One, you'll destroy the piece of aluminum foil. Two, crumpling up a piece of aluminum foil will simply just trap air in between the folds of the aluminum foil. So even if you did water displacement, you wouldn't be getting the true volume of this piece of aluminum foil. You're gonna to have to arrive at that a different way. Then I need you to combine the two formulas together so that using density equals mass over volume, volume equals length times width times height, you end up with an equation that has height on one side of the equal sign and everything else on the other side of the equal sign. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to do that. Go ahead and figure it out and then submit it. Then you can watch part two of the video, which will go through the actual process so that you can collect the data. Okay, now you're ready to actually determine the thickness of a piece of aluminum foil. Now, to make sure we get the best possible uh, thickness, what I need you to do is to copy the density of aluminum from reference table S. So go to your reference tables, find aluminum, find its density, and just copy the density down here and make sure that you include the unit. I'll give you a second to do that. Now, using the two formulas given in the introduction, come up with a way to mathematically determine the thickness of a piece of aluminum foil. Now, here's the thing. I have a whole bunch of spaces here for measurements. You already told me here what measurements you'll have to make. So based on the measurements you decided to make, copy those down to this data table. And then we'll go through and actually measure them. Okay. And then after we're done, you're going to use your combined formula to find the thickness of aluminum foil based on the calculations that you've come up with. Okay, so at this point, you know that you're gonna to need to measure the mass of the aluminum foil, the length of the aluminum foil, and the width of the aluminum foil, which means you don't need to use any of these other spaces. All we need are those three. So let's go ahead and measure them now. First of all, the mass of the piece of aluminum foil. So let's get the balance ready. And let's put, woo, that's one swing and balance there. Okay, we'll put that on there, like so. And then let's read this measuring device and see what it says. Oh. Yay. 
Okay. So here we go with the hundreds, the tens, and the ones. Okay, now let's get that last mass rider. Let's get it set. And that's the mass of the aluminum foil. Okay, now let's get the length and the width. Okay, so there is our piece of aluminum foil. Okay, that is the length. Let's get the width by turning it 90 degrees. There we go. And there you have it. So now you have the mass and the length and the width. So what do you do from there? Well, the next thing that you do is you're going to calculate the thickness of the aluminum foil. How are you going to do that? Well, you know what the formula is that you need. And you know what the mass, the length, and the width is. Just substitute in with the density to find the piece of aluminum foil. Now, if you want the accepted value, which you will, the accepted value is 0 0.000 five centimeters. That is the accepted value for the thickness of a piece of aluminum foil. And based on that accepted value and your experimental value above it, go ahead and calculate the percent error for your calculation. If this is done correctly, then just simply turn it in and I will grade it. If it's 100, it's 100. If not, then I'll just send it back for you to make some corrections. And again, all you have to do is if you misread the values, just go back and look at the video again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all there is to that. So until next time, bye.